NASA is counting down before a bold historic mission to the sun. The Parker Solar Probe is scheduled to take off from Florida in just a few hours on a trip to learn the secrets of our star 93 million miles away. Here's Omar Villafranca. The spacecraft, about the size of a compact car, will reach inside the sun's blistering atmosphere and come within 4 million miles of the surface. Project scientist Nikki Fox says 4 million miles may sound far away, but... If you put um, the Earth and the Sun in the end zones of a football field, Parker Solar Probe would be on the four-yard line, and so that's very close. Scientists hope the close-up look will reveal some of the Sun's deepest mysteries, like the inner workings of the solar winds and why the corona, the Sun's hazy outer atmosphere, is 300 times hotter than its surface. It kind of breaks the laws of physics. You walk away from a campfire, you get cold, not hot. The answers could help protect communication satellites, power grids, and even GPS navigation. The spacecraft won't melt because it's outfitted with this. A state-of-the-art, four-and-a-half-inch thick carbon heat shield that acts as a big umbrella between the sun and the probe's instruments. How effective is this? So on the front side, we get about 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. And then when we get back to the spacecraft, we're about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The probe will become the fastest man-made machine ever built, reaching speeds of 430,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to travel from New York City to Tokyo, Japan in less than a minute. What also makes this launch special is who will be watching. Dr. Gene Parker, this it's is... honor to meet you, sir. Astrophysicist Gene Parker first proposed the existence of solar winds 60 years ago. Now, at 91, he's the first living person to have a mission named after him. There is no return mission for the Parker Solar Probe. It will eventually run out of fuel and unable to turn to protect itself. All but the heat shield will slowly disintegrate and turn into solar dust. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Cape Canaveral, Florida.